Hey everyone, let's begin in a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all the good things you do for us. We lift up your holy name. We ask that you would give us a greater desire for you, that we would desire you above all other things. We ask that you would make us into fresh wineskins, that we would be able to receive the new wine of the Holy Spirit that you want to pour into us. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. So today's Gospel reading was from Mark chapter 2, and it's all about fasting. Some of John the Baptist's disciples and the Pharisees come to Jesus and they ask him why he and his disciples don't fast. Jesus responds by telling them a few different parables and if I'm going to be honest, for the longest time I had no idea what these parables were about. I couldn't figure out what Jesus was trying to communicate. Thanks be to God, I saw them in a new light today and I think I finally understand. So I'm going to share what I learned with you and hopefully it helps you in some way, especially if you're struggling with understanding what these parables are about. So let me read the passage and then I'll share my thoughts with you. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why did the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. Now, if you're anything like me, you're asking, what in the world do cloaks and wineskins have to do with fasting? And for the longest time, I couldn't figure it out. I pretty much resigned to thinking it must be some sort of cultural thing that I don't understand, and I'll probably never know what Jesus was actually trying to say. Thankfully, today, I saw things with a new insight, and uh, I, I think I finally get it. So, the disciples of John the Baptist and the Pharisees were fasting for the wrong reasons. They were fasting for the sake of the practice itself, rather than to draw near to God. So, Jesus begins by telling this parable uh, about people not fasting when the bridegroom is with them. And he's trying to say a couple different things here. First, he's saying that he is the bridegroom. He's God made flesh. He's Emmanuel, God with us. And the second thing he's trying to communicate is that if fasting is meant to help us draw closer to God, then it doesn't make any sense to fast if we're already in his presence. If he's the bridegroom and he's physically here, then there's no reason to fast. So then Jesus goes on and he tells a couple more parables, one about cloaks and one about wineskins. And these were the ones that were really hard for me to understand, but I think I get it now. So there needs to be a change of heart that we have first, and our hearts need to be oriented towards God. Otherwise, if we fast, it's useless and even dangerous. We end up fasting from this place of self-righteousness and do it for personal achievement rather than to draw closer to God. We commit an act of pride rather than an act of humility. So in other words, fasting without the proper change of heart is like sewing a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak or pouring new wine into old wineskins. It just makes things worse. So we need to have this change of heart um, that orients us towards God and then we can fast for the sake of drawing closer to him when it seems like he's distant. 
In other places in the gospel, Jesus uh, talks about fasting and he says to do it in secret. So again, I think this is because the, the religious leaders of his time were fasting for the sake of appearances and for the sake of the practice itself. They were doing it from this place of pride and self-righteousness. Um, by fasting in secret, Jesus is saying that as long as God knows you're fasting, that's all that matters. Other people don't need to know. You don't need to like make a big show out of it. Just let it be between you and God because the true purpose of it is to draw us closer to God. So let's um, have these new uh, wineskins, these fresh wineskins, so that we can uh, be vessels ready to receive the Holy Spirit, the new wine that God wants to pour out into us. So I hope this helps you understand these parables. Um, thanks again for watching. Grace and peace. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to share it with others too. All these things will help these videos get in front of more people and help grow the channel. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks again for watching. Peace.